Honorable President Sir, Srimati Omita Paul, Seki to the President, Sri Mohan Das Pai, Chairman, Manipal Global Education Institutes and Board Member, Code for India, Sri Karl Mehta, Founder, Code for India, Sri R. Chandrasekhar, President, NASCOM, Sri Saras Sharma, Founder, I Split, and Jury Members, Participants of the Hackathon, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good evening and a very warm welcome to this felicitation ceremony of today's hackathon for social innovations. This hackathon is started today at 7 in the morning and has just concluded. Today the teams have worked on four challenges. The first one was automated attendance system after every class, examination authentication for students, monitoring of entry into public monuments, monitoring of flood in public places. These four challenges are of great national relevance and could be a game changer for our social development. Sir, it has been a pleasure and experience to see the developers showing their passion for the social cause and developing innovative applications which can be used by the public. Today, 27 teams with 95 participants took part in this hackathon event. Sir, I'm also happy to inform you that the winning applications have already been promised for implementation by Chairman NDMC and his team, which visited today to witness this hackathon. Some of the winning entries will also be explored for implementation in Rashpati Bhavan School, as well as in the President State area. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and pleasure to welcome each one of you again to this evening. And I request now Sri Karl Mehta, founder Code for India, to brief on the coding competition held today. Mr. Karl Mehta, please. Honorable President, sir, Secretary to President Shumati Omita Paul, and Sri Suresh Yadavji, and the entire team and staff of the Rashtrapati Bhavan. I want to deeply thank you for your vision and inspiration to organize and to have us here for the hackathon today for social innovation. Your encouragement to these young innovators and developers here today is going to go a long way towards solving the social impact problems in India. I also want to thank the judges, Sri Mohandas Pai, Sri Chandrasekharji, and Sri Sharad Sharma for their uh, mentoring and guidance to the developers. So, sir, we had an amazing day here today with, uh, since 6.30 in the morning, the developers have been working on four different challenges, and we organized ourselves into 27 different teams, and each team had about maximum five developers. They all worked hard all day, and the judges had, um, will, Shrimon Daspai uh, will provide some information on how the judging happened, as well as the views from the judges. But everyone did a fabulous job. I have been doing hackathons from Code for India in Silicon Valley, and I can say that the quality of the work that I saw here today is at par or even better than most of the hackathons that I have seen worldwide. So I want to <laughs> and finally I do want to thank all of you and although we have four winners that will be announced shortly for each challenges but all of you are winners because all of you have worked very hard and every project that I saw today, all the 27 projects were fantastic. So give yourself a big round of applause. So I'll request uh, Shimon Daspai to offer the views from the judges. Thank you. Honorable President, sir, Secretary to the President, Mr. Suresh Yadav, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, today was a truly extraordinary day for us. First, we were in the Rashtrapati Bhavan, invited by a beloved president, 
and we are all very honored to be here. Two, we saw the extraordinary talent that Young India has, so we can be rest assured that our future is safe and this country is doing something for our next generation. We saw young people having a problem-solving attitude, a deep technology capability, an ability to think of multiple solutions to the same challenges, and an ability to understand the domain that is needed to suggest solutions to these challenges that we have. Sir, we saw solutions which were crowd-populated based upon Android and other technologies on the mobile, simple, based on simple user feedback, a product orientation in many of them. We also saw that they had, con they had constituted solutions which could be easily used by any Indian who comes to these four, three, comes to these four places. They used online, offline solutions where required. They used Aadhaar, which is truly transformational. And above all, they use technology which could be used in schools and other areas where sophisticated technology could not be used. So we met each of these teams and the team showcased to us their solutions. We asked a few questions and judging was very tough because the disparity between number one and people who are not number one was not very wide. At the end of it, we had to choose and we are chosen. And I want to end by saying that the three of us who are judges are extremely happy and proud to be here. And we are very enthused seeing as extraordinary talent. And like Carl said, congratulations to the winners and to every participant, because what you have created since 6.30 in the morning is something that every nation could be proud of, and especially our honorable president was invited, all of you here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Carl Mehta and Sidi Mohandas Paiji. We will now begin with the felicitation ceremony. The winner for the first challenge, teacher taking attendance after every class is the team Golden Diggers. I request the team members, Manish Jain, Gaurav Goel, Mustaq Shah, to come forward and receive the trophy from the Honorable President and then speak for three minutes on the concept. Honorable President, sir, and uh, dignitaries, uh, all ladies and gentlemen uh, present here. Uh, first of all, uh, we are really thankful for uh, getting this opportunity uh, to present our solution. Uh, and the, and uh, it is uh, our theme was teacher taking attendance after every class. And we tried, we attempted to uh, develop a solution which is efficient and which is easy to use, which is secured and which is an authentic, uh, authentic solution which doesn't require, uh, which requires minimal manual interventions, which saves uh, attendance time, which monitors the entry and exit of the students uh, uh, from the restricted area. We have seen in the recent past some unfortunate instances in, the, in Delhi where a child moved into some place where he should not be. Uh, so all these can be detected through this solution. For the demo purpose, or you can say for the phase one, we are using the NFC technology, uh, which requires some kind of a manual intervention to punch in their attendances and all. Uh, but uh, in future, we can use motion sensors and uh, with the help of uh, RFI technology, we will be able to give wherein there is no manual intervention which will be required. The attendance will be taken and will be pushed to the backend systems wherein the post uh, uh, analysis can be done based on that data which uh, 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 state-wise, region-wise, school-wise, even you can capture the information based on teachers, the subjects of interest for the students, when they are entering, when they are leaving. So all the, those analysis can be done based on the uh, uh, backend data which will be collected. So uh, thanks again for giving this opportunity to our team. And uh, it was a good learning experience. And hopefully we will have this solution in place uh, 
uh, in the live environment uh, with the help of uh, uh, the support. Uh, thanks. Thanks.